Hi, everybody. We are here to take our next step in really making sure we're deeply analyzing and understanding what an author wants us to learn, take away from, or get that main idea from a text. So today's lesson is called more than one and more than one what? Well, our learning target is that I can find and explain multiple topics or main ideas in one text. So what exactly do we mean by that? Well, we're going to do it a little differently this time. We're actually going to start with an example. So stay tuned to see what I'm talking about in action. Okay, we're going to take a look here at this article as an example. Action video game may be used to treat people with ADHD. Now, I've already gone through and surveyed it to get some ideas about topic and potential main ideas of the whole article and all that kind of stuff. And I've actually even started going through and annotating. I'm going to show you some of that. So this first little part here is just about like explaining what ADHD is, um, and the company Ecoli Interactive that we're going to be talking about in here. So there's no real main topic or main idea there. But I want to show you this little section here, video game designed to increase brain activity. So I'm not going to actually read this section out loud. If you want to read the sections we're talking about, please feel free to pause the video. But up here in yellow, I've highlighted that the topic of this section is a specific video game. So we're talking about this one video game in here. And I pulled out some important details and keywords. And that's like talking about the part of the brain that's helping, that this seems to be a medical treatment, um, talking about healing. And then that was just medical treatment was just an important phrase. And then down here, I went through and adding these up and came up with the idea by engaging the brain this video game can be an actual treatment, not just a game that we're used to thinking of it. So that was the main idea of this little section. And then I kept going and I saw research shows promising results. The topic of this section was the research on the game. And then we found through here that the game showed improvements um, in attention spans for kids who played it uh, without medication. So it seemed to be really good by itself. And it was very specific to that. So when I pulled those details together, the main idea of this section was this game seems to be helping kids with ADHD, which is the whole point of this. Down here, I didn't do a topic, but this topic is seems to be game concerns. Because as I looked about it, not enough was known about just how effective or how long this helps, um, that they have to do more research and then clear so that's some information we need. And then, of course, parents might have concerns about this as uh, therapy, things like that. And are they going to actually recommend it? And eventually we get down to the idea here that, you know, they're looking for FDA approval to help this and actually make it accepted. So the main idea of this section is that it needs to clear hurdles to get it to the people who would actually benefit from it. So I have three sections and three slightly different topics of each section and three different main ideas in these section. However, I could bring these back and help them help me understand the point of the entire article once I put main ideas of each little section together. It's also helping me understand exactly what the point is and making sure I understand that part. Okay, so now you see that we've had multiple small topics that are slightly different but kind of similar, and each little section had its own main idea of that section, and I was able to stop and take time and really think about each one and understand exactly what I was reading and really think and analyze of what it meant. And that is the exact point, is that we want to make sure you're understanding the text carefully, not just on the surface of, oh, they're talking about video games and it could help ADHD, but really understanding everything that they're talking about in there and not missing any important information. And the other thing to know about this is that as we're reading, authors might actually switch gears in different sections or different paragraphs or maybe you know, pages in a, in a book or something, they might switch gears eventually because there's another important piece they need to make sure you know or that they want to get across. 
So we do have all these gears, but keep in mind that as they're switching from gear to gear and everything's moving, they are likely connected because gears don't actually work if they're not touching each other. They actually have to connect to keep moving. So the topics are probably going to be connected somehow, just like in that even though the topics were slightly different, they all came back to the video game and the medical treatment idea. So overall, all these gears work together to make the article function and have us understand the outside. So here we have our watch that has lots of little gears on the inside, but they all work and do their own job to connect and make the whole thing work so that we actually can understand and know the time and get that idea from it when all the pieces work together. When they don't work together, we don't get a really good main idea. We don't get the time on a watch. So you really wanna make sure that as you are going, you check these main ideas. Don't You don't necessarily, you wanna read the text all the way through to get an idea of it, but when you're really going carefully to get those main ideas, go section by section by section so that you understand a little piece to help you understand how all of them go all together. So to kind of help you do that, you wanna ask yourself these questions. Do these pages or paragraphs go together? Now, sometimes it's really clear in the articles when we have little subtitles, which ones are meant to go together, but not every text is set up that way. Videos aren't always, longer articles aren't always, and so on. So you wanna stop and go, what goes together? Or are they um, starting to talk about a new idea here? And if they are talking about a new idea, you want to stop and make sure you've understood the idea before. Once you can find that out, you actually want to say to yourself, and like you find all the pieces, you want to say to yourself, this text is really about idea, 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 five ideas, three ideas, two ideas, whatever the article happens to be. But you want to get those multiple main ideas and see it's about these things. Now you can deal with just these big ideas that you're coming across throughout it, and you can put them together to really understand that deeper idea that the author wants you to know. You're going to bring the main ideas together to get a deep analysis and a deeper view, not just the service. Oh, there's a video game about ADHD, but really knowing this game seems to really be working, but it has a lot of hurdles to go over, so it is not on the market yet, but we are hopeful. So we're understanding the whole piece all together by finding the multiple ideas that we can finally add up to get the big one at the end of the article.